American Crime Story, People vs. OJ, Season 1. I mean, it got a lot of accolades, very well-respected show. Many Emmys. Season, yeah, in Season 2, I, I thought it was supposed to be based on Katrina. Seems like that's been pushed out a bit. Right. I mean, that was the initial Season 2 with Sarah Paulson leading. Uh, and right. that's now going to be Season 3 because they pushed that back in this new one, the assassination of Gianni Versace is set to premiere uh, January. Was it January 17th, and, right around the corner. And the the, uh, the the first trailer for it dropped very recently. Yep. And it looks like, I mean, just kind of looking over this cast, not as star-studded as season one, which, I mean, to, for those who didn't watch or have been living under a rock for the, the past year, uh, season one had... Sterling K. Brown, it had uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., John Travolta, uh, yeah. and I've been touching on like half of them at this point. Sarah uh, Paulson. Sarah Paulson, right. This season, Penelope Cruz is probably the headliner, but uh, overall, just a solid cast. And your boy, Ricky Martin, bringing that living <laughs> La Vida Loca to the, the, uh, the small screen by, near you. What do you think? I mean, Darren yeah. Chris is playing Andrew Quainan, uh, uh, Cunanan, actually, sorry. I mispronounced that. Uh, and uh, Emily Ashford is playing Elizabeth Cody, which seemed to be like the two headliners. Penelope Cruz playing Donatella Versace. Are you excited based on this trailer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think it looks cool. I mean, this is Ryan Murphy's just a machine. Um, and mm -hmm. while we're not fans of American Horror Story, uh, American Crime Story had such a first, such a strong uh, season one that you got to figure their budget went up a little bit for this, for season two. And I mean, yeah, no Sarah Paulson this time around, but I mean, I have to trust the brand at this point. I mean, it's um, only they only cool. had one successful season. Yeah, but Ryan Murphy has been such a successful creator of TV right. that if FX is going to, you know, have confidence in him with a cast that's not quite as star-studded this time around, I feel like yeah, you have to at least give him a chance. The the dude loves shots of people with their faces either covered or wrapped up. You know, I'm surprised Tom Hardy hasn't worked with him yet, um, based on that. <laughs> but that 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 scene where he's got the uh, duct tape wrapped around the guy's head is yeah. fucking terrifying. But also gets me yeah. so amped to see where the season goes. Yeah, it, it does have a different vibe than the first scene. The first season was more or less retelling, mm -hmm. you know, the the, the tale of the tape basically. But this right. one looks a little more neurotic because we have the uh, assassin as a main character. So. Yeah, uh, definitely interesting. And I mean, dropping third week of January, there's not a whole lot premiering that. It's just all the returning, you know, network stuff. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Robot will be done by then. So uh, it's probably a great window to perhaps dominate. This is when Young Pope came out last year. I was going to say. So it's a good window. Yeah, definitely. I, I think American Horror Story, or uh, sorry, not American, American Crime Story is going to uh, dominate the first quarter of the year. Uh, another show that will actually will be dropping a little bit sooner. Easy Season 2, an anthology series on Netflix, which we reviewed on uh, uh, SoundCloud.com slash Nostalgia Pod back in, like, what, October of last year? Does that sound yeah. right? It's about a year ago. Yeah, last fall, late summer, I think. And there were, we, we were pretty high in the show. There were some episodes, there were some ups and downs. Uh, I think one very controversial episode. But I think the thing we liked most about the show was that it kind of jumped from character to character, rarely ever touched on the same characters twice very interesting perspectives season two seems to be kind of running back in a way from the trailer with a couple of people added in what, what were your thoughts on the trailer uh yes and that, i think that's that's exactly spot on you have a lot of people returning like uh with mm -hmm. dave franco and aya cash from you're the worst among others and then there's some new people in there as well so uh i, I wasn't i wasn't actually sure if easy season two would exist because there was really no announcement, you know, one way or the other. There was no uh, mm -hmm. buzz or even reporting on the production. And then the Netflix fashion, hey, by the way, it's going to drop another, what, eight episodes, 10 episodes? Right. On 12 1. So eight episodes. So really cool. Yeah. I'm interested to see. Uh, I'm glad that it's coming back. I was kind of hoping if it did come back from a season two, it would follow totally new people, just kind of keep jumping from person to person, I guess checking back in with these characters uh especially when you have this kind of talent i mean like zazie beats is one of the people yeah, which yeah, she, if you can get back. her kiersey clement yeah. is back um, and they added aubrey plaza yep mark Marin's back obviously really high right now after glow um mm -hmm. 
Emily Ratajkowski not back. I actually really enjoyed her despite her not being an actress. I thought yeah. she, she was good in her episode. So, but I, now you got Aubrey Plaza. Like he said Joe Latruglio. Uh, so yeah, a lot of talent in this. And then I mean Joe Swanberg, not really a household name, but I mean he's been known to make a lot of movies with Jake Johnson, uh, Win It All on mm-hmm. Netflix this summer, and really kind of pioneered the mumblecore genre alongside uh, Greta Gerwig's who now Greta Gerwig who just did Lady Bird. So. Uh, Joe Swamber is an interesting guy in Hollywood and it's nice to see Netflix just give him a chance to run it back because they clearly have a great relationship. Definitely. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely be checking in and giving our thoughts on Easy Season 2 once it drops. We'll probably be doing it in chunks as we did with Stranger Things, especially with a series like that. There's no need to watch it all at once. Uh, no right. one's going to be talking about it uh, as heavily as Stranger Things. But you should. you yes. listening at home because it, it's good shit. And yeah, it definitely. was last, last September. It was when it came out last year, so a little over a year. It's a nice turnaround. Definitely. 